Hey guys, welcome welcome back to the Wimpy Studio. Today I'm going to be reviewing When Calls the Heart Season 7, Episode 6, and it's called Imperfect Unity. So first off, before I get started, I just wanted to say I'm sorry this is coming at you late. Um, I had some really uh, big messed up with the internet, and I wasn't able to record um, Monday. So yeah, I'm now recording Monday again, and hopefully it'll work because I'm on a different device. So... Let's go ahead and get into the episode. Again, typically these come out on Mondays, but today is just Tuesday. I mean, it, it, most of the time it will be on Mondays. Today is just one of those exceptions. Besides, for a good episode, I guess it's better late than never, right? Okay, let's get started. Okay. When Calls the Heart, Season 7, Episode 6 is called Imperfect United. So this was Jesse and Claire's wedding episode. So... Um, I have, I'm going to talk about, the, first of all, the five things I wanted to see in Jesse and Claire's wedding, so we'll go to get into that. Okay, so I wanted a shocking twist to happen, and it sort of happened, I guess. Um, I mean, it started raining. I mean, I wanted, like, more like a really big twist, like the wedding wasn't going to happen, you know, like at Jack and Elizabeth's wedding. I mean, it wasn't like that. I mean, it started raining. I mean, the plan was for it to do an outdoor wedding, but we already saw from the promo that it would be indoors. So, we kind of already knew that. So, that was, like, a little small twist that, like, just a change of locations. It wasn't really that big of a deal. Definitely the least amount of surprise in, out of all three of the weddings that we've seen. The other two being, besides this one, Elizabeth and Jack's and Rosemary Lee's, so... Uh, number four was for Faith to come back, and this did not happen. I was hoping at least Carson would have a dancing partner, though, you know, someone to attend with. And no, he didn't. Faith was still gone, but Carson was at least able to be the photographer. So good for him. I kind of suspected something would happen between Carson and Molly, but luckily it didn't. I'm really glad that it didn't. I mean, they didn't exactly have much time to even put that into this episode, so. Okay. Number three was for Elizabeth to choose between Lucas and Nathan, and this did not happen. Now, granted, we're not going to see this for a long time, probably, but, I mean, there are still flirtations between both of them, but, I mean, now, like, she knows that she has two suitors or two interests, so now it's going to be coming more clear to her on which one she should choose, because before that, it was all just flirtations, but they made it clear last episode when they gave flowers to her, so... Now that she knows, so she knows the whole thing, so now she caught the bouquet, so Alyssa's going to get married next, we just don't know when. Um, so, I mean, I'm not sure she's going to choose Lucas or Nathan. Again, I'm rooting for Nathan, but then again, I have a hard time that she's going to want to marry another Mountie, honestly, after everything that happened with Jack. I think she'll just be scared that something would happen to him again, but Lucas, I mean, they have a good connection with books, but I think... Elizabeth and Nathan have a lot more in common. Also, Elizabeth is good with Nathan's niece, so, I mean, that that's good. So, number two was for Frank to come back. And last episode, they were struggling to find a minister. They were worried that the minister wasn't going to come. I was like, bring Frank in, you know? I mean, I thought it would have been cool for Frank to come in, even though it didn't happen. I mean, there's always, like, clear hope that he can come back at some point. Instead, they run Pastor Zeke, which I'll talk about in a second, but... Um, and also, I thought that it would be interesting for Frank to come back because her, him and Jesse, like, knew each other growing up, since they were, like, probably, like, little kids. I don't know. So I thought that that would be interesting for him to be there and to be the minister. Okay, number one, this was one I knew wasn't going to happen, but I don't know why I put it on the top of my list, was for Abigail to come back. But I put this because there was a chance that she could be replaced by a different actor. I mean, she is Clara's mother-in-law. You know, I mean, I thought that would make a little bit sense that we, they would, um, I mean, at least, you know, have her come in to attend her daughter-in-law's wedding. I thought that would be cool. Not Lori Laughlin, though. I mean, she got fired, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, So that's pretty much the top five things I wanted to see. And only part of one thing happened. So I, I mean, it wasn't as big as a wedding as I was hoping for, but you know what? It was still a decent wedding. So let's talk about the wedding preparation. So, first of all, we saw Clara struggles with Peter. Um, and, I mean, she was all ready to marry Jesse, but she was still, like, pining over Peter because, remember, her last marriage, her marriage with Peter only lasted three days. But then she finds a comfort in Elizabeth. 
And I'm like, okay, I'm down for this Elizabeth and Clara friendships. So that's one that we haven't explored yet. We've seen Elizabeth and Abigail. We've seen Elizabeth and Rosemary. We've seen Elizabeth with a lot of characters because she's so friendly. We have not seen Elizabeth and Clara. Also, I think that they kind of look alike, too, with, like, the dark hair. But I guess that's kind of beside the point. But, um, I mean, of course, you you should be upset. But, like, I think that I mean, I think that Jesse is a very different guy from Peter. We didn't even know Peter that well, but I think that they were, like, two different guys. I don't think Jesse's going to risk something that's going to ruin his, like, marriage or, like, he's going to die, you know, which would ruin his marriage. I think that he's all set and, like, he wants to go for this marriage with Clara because they did get married. So, I mean, I think that Clara and Jesse are, like, a really good couple, so. Okay, so, new pastor in town, Pastor Zeke. So, um, I thought there was a little, like, I mean, he seemed like a good minister. Of course, I went in Frank, but I see, I'm not, I'm not sure if he's going to be sticking around for a little while. I mean, we can move on to the Elizabeth-related things now, but, hmm. So, um, my mom suggested something that's saying, what if Elizabeth chooses Pastor Zeke instead? And I'm like, um, that's a possibility, but I think having a love triangle between Elizabeth, Lucas, and Nathan is enough. Adding in Pastor Zeke to make it a love square probably would not be a good idea. Um, I mean, I guess, I, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, we don't know much about Pastor Zeke, so all we know is that he's a pastor, so a traveling pastor, so I guess we can remember that. Okay, also, Robert, so this was kind of a random storyline that I didn't think would happen in this episode, so Robert wanting, wanting to become a Mountie. I mean, this was a perfect storyline for Elizabeth to explore, but I'm not sure why they put it into this episode, into the wedding episode, a wedding episode. I mean, I was hoping that they would, what, could wait until another episode to explore this. This is a really important storyline for Robert and Elizabeth and Nathan to explore together. I mean, Robert approached Elizabeth saying that he wanted to become a Mountie, but he didn't want to finish his last year of schooling because he wanted to jump right into a Mountie position right away. Elizabeth wasn't too thrilled. Um, so then Robert went to observe Nathan as well, because Nathan's a Mountie. Um, but then he realized that it was too hard because you would have to go and like tackle people. So, I mean, he, and then he decided to wait till like after he's done with school. So, I mean, again, I think this was a good storyline for Elizabeth and Ro Elizabeth to explore, especially because, you know, Jack was a Mountie, but, um, I just don't know why they put it into this episode because, this took up a good amount of the episode, so I don't know why they would cram it all into this one thing, so I don't know. Okay, so. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so season seven, episode seven, it's called Heart of a Winter Synopsis. So uh, I'll read the synopsis and then we can react to the promo. So it says Elizabeth goes on a trip with Lucas and must face her growing feelings for him. Jesse and Clara adjust to sharing a home, and Lee and Rosemary are challenged with watching Little Jack. Okay, so, I mean, not a lot of stuff going on in the synopsis. Um, by the way, after I do my promo reaction um, and kind of break down the synopsis, I'm going to share my wedding awards. I didn't have a slide for this because I couldn't fit it in with, like, the ma maximum slides allowed, but um, I can still talk about, um, I'll just talk about things I liked about the wedding and all that stuff. So let's watch the promo for next week. I'll watch this a couple times, so I, hopefully, yeah, I thought the, okay. This Sunday, okay. Bradley's favorite teacher. On an all-new Win Calls the Heart. Virginia Woolf is doing a reading in Union City tomorrow night. Would you be my guest? I need all the details. We're going strictly as friends. You look beautiful. There's only one question left. Who's going to tell Nathan? Welcome back. An all-new Win Calls the Heart. Sunday night at yes. 8. Yes. I was waiting for this, okay? I was waiting for, um... To explore more of the Elizabeth and Lucas thing because it feels like we've got a lot more of Elizabeth and Nathan than Lucas. But um, I'm like, okay, I'm down for this. But let's watch it again and I'll talk, pause and talk about it. You know, let's get started. This Sunday, Bradley's favorite teacher on an all new win. So we're gonna get more of Elizabeth and Nathan. Like, looks like we're gonna get more of the teacher stuff, which is good. He calls the heart. Virginia Woolf is doing a reading in Union City tomorrow. Night. Lucas invites Elizabeth to this reading, and it seems like there's going to be more because Nathan and Lucas pass by each other. Wait, no, 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 no
This uh, when calls the heart. Okay. Virginia Woolf is doing a reading in Union City tomorrow night. Would you be my guest? I need all the details. We're going so everyone's fussing about it. Alyssa's like to Bill, we're going strictly as friends. And then she shows up. I mean, she does look pretty. I will say that. You look beautiful. And then he's like being very flirty no with her. Question left. Who's gonna tell Nathan? Okay. Okay. And I think this is Lee saying this, but like, obviously the whole town is fussed up about this love triangle, especially with the flowers from last episode. Um. So like, it looks like this is like after the whole thing, like probably more towards the end of the episode because he's like. Welcome back. An all new When Calls the Heart, Sunday night at 8. Yeah, so it definitely sounds like that that scene at the end took place after she got back from that thing with Lucas. So we're going to see Elizabeth and Lucas. We're going to see the aftermath of Jesse and Clara's wedding. It honestly looks like a lot of stuff go- coming from a episode after a wedding because it feels like for a mid-season wedding, the episode after is Ness filler. I mean, in the I mean, this episode was a filler as well because of the whole other Mountie storyline. I, I don't know. But... I mean, there's also, and then Lee and Rosemary are going to be watching Little Jack, so. I mean, it kind of seems like straightforward stuff, honestly. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything too different is happening in this thing. I mean, one thing I will talk about, though, is, is that this wedding, it was a good wedding. It was definitely a lot more simpler than the other two. I mean, Jesse and Claire aren't main characters, so I don't think that the, this wedding was, like, very, like, hyped up as, like, Jack and Alyssa's was, for instance, or even Rosemary and Lee's, because... Jesse and Clara are just supporting characters. I mean, I'm glad that they had a wedding for them, but it's almost like they were trying to hype a w- this wedding up for them too much. Hop this, hop this wedding them for them, but I think they tried too hard. I mean, it's definitely like the bottom of the weddings. I mean, it was a good wedding. It was like a cute wedding with everything, but I mean, I don't know. I just, it wasn't, it was, uh, again, it was a good wedding. I just didn't really enjoy it as much as the other two, but, um, so, Honestly, it was a really good episode. I mean, I like those mid-season weddings. I don't, I don't like them to be in the mid in the season finale because then we can like get more after the wedding. You know, I mean, we don't have to wait until next season to explore the aftermath. We can get it the episode after. So I enjoy that. Um, yeah, I mean that's good episode and good promo. I mean that up uh, that promo looks really good. We're gonna see some Elizabeth and Lucas action, and then the love triangle. But this time, more of like Elizabeth turning her affection to Lucas. Instead of Nathan. So, honestly, it looks really good. Um, that's pretty much gonna be the end of my video. Again, I'm sorry this is late. Um, I really wanted to, um, post this yesterday, yesterday, but I couldn't. I'm recording this on Monday, but this is gonna come out on Tuesday, so. Okay. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching the Whoopi Studio. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks everyone for watching, and bye.